Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way. Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, honey child. You're welcome. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that post notification bell, so that you can be notified every time a honey posts a video. And if you are a returning subscriber, a regular digger, a regular liker, regular sharer, honey, you are welcome. You are welcome. Welcome to Honey Child. Anyway, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't teach English here in China. Don't come for me in the comments and say, then why are you teaching here in China? These reasons will make sense. Yeah. And you know, I've noticed that in life, people, I've noticed that in life, um, people that have certain things want different things. And people that don't have certain things, one those things i don't know if i'm making sense like people who don't have cars want cars and people that have cars don't want cars because they know what comes with having a car you get what i mean so in this scenario in this scenario in i was saying like in this life we always want something that we don't have and the people that have want out is just like that in jail and every 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 statement that i wrote here everything that i just pieced on this paper is when i look at it it's real it's true it's genuine it's something that hmm, i don't know i can relate like i i'm not gonna come up here and just talk nonsense mm -mm. So, the first thing why you shouldn't teach English here in China is, is you are putting your life on hold. Let me tell you what I mean. If you didn't go to school and study education, if, so if you are working in these schools, those not international schools, honey, you and me, we are just wasting our time, Nje. This thing is no i'm not comfortable we're just wasting our time Jay. you know why i say that you know why i say that you know why i say that <clears throat> because in this primary schools like different schools agencies yes you get documents you get recommendation letters you get blah 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 but when you leave china and go outside will you be able to teach in a university with the same qualifications that you have right now. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. Because honestly speaking, to me, when I go back to my industry, hospitality, they're going to ask me, what have you been doing in this past two years? I'm going to say I was teaching English. How is teaching English getting experience for the job that you're doing? You find that someone that I graduated with is going to get a job is going to get a job um is when i start pursuing my career so he's going to be a manager while me i'm on still entry level what have i been doing with my life so this english teaching job is for somebody that really wants to be an english teacher forever you are also going to school to just teach banana apple you're just there for pronunciation you're not really teaching anything you're just saying, say banana, say apple, play games, you turn around, ch take chairs, uh, play, sing a song, they stop, you say, say banana, say apple, like. But the money is nice. The money is nice. The money is nice. <laughs> That's point number one. Let me not dwell on it too much. Let me go on point number two. Number two. The government. The reason why you shouldn't be teaching English here in China, the government. I don't like talking about the government. But let me tell you something about China. As of 2017 until now, English classes have been reduced. In this 2023, 
in this schools primary schools you see kids only have two english classes how many math classes do they have how many science classes do they have how many chinese classes do they have per week but a week has five days in china they only have english twice in a week one is for the chinese english teacher and one is for the english te foreign teacher the the chinese teacher teaches them then the foreign teacher comes for pronunciation you get what i mean and that's it me growing up we did english three or four times a week maybe every day at the timetable 30 every 30 minutes it's a class but for them me i don't know i don't know i don't know even now exams the score is being decreased i feel like i don't know the future but i just feel like they are just going to cut out english they are just going to cut out english training centers have been closed <sighs> and the kids are not even willing to learn english you find that you see a kid in class you ask them can you read the kid will say love she will be like i can't speak i can't speak at least try and you say bang me i will help you they won't even want the help so also attitude me the high school that i went growing up i've always been told that success is just an attitude success is just an attitude and success is just an attitude that was my high school's motto anything that you put your head to even the bible even says it, anything that you put your head to you achieve your attitude in getting that thing that's how you just achieve it point blank period okay the point number three the less the workload the the less the kids the less the workload so if you find that there are a lot of kids in your class oh how If you find that there are less kids, good for you. But if there are many, and you, you don't tell them, taking care of one kid, guys, also, it's hard. Imagine taking care of a lot of kids. And kids that you don't speak the same language with. Sometimes you don't even know how to say keep quiet. Sometimes you don't even know how to say sit down listen sometimes you don't even know how to say repeat after me you get sometimes you don't even know how to say let's play this game or even explaining a simple game it's a very simple game because you find out kids even they don't want to learn even they know what you want you you, you mean they'll just tell you that love sheep or temple don't love sheep we don't understand like teacher we don't understand what you're saying and sometimes you hear that they will just keep quiet. They'll just look at you. Chinese kids, they'll just look at you like this. You'll be there talking. Then you say, do you understand? They just look at you. Then you find out that maybe later, maybe later, 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 you find that another kid will be whispering the same thing that you said in Chinese. I don't know if it makes sense. Also number two number four is lifestyle me personally sometimes sometimes it's really prestigious to say you're an english teacher here in china sometimes it's not really prestigious to say i teach english here in china the reason being different environments for maybe if you're talking to a student somebody that's still going to school yeah maybe it's flashy because at the end of the day you're getting money <sighs> my roommate just left at the end of the day you're just getting money you get what i mean then there are days when maybe you're talking to somebody that's doing an actual job people that are back there at home when they get their money they can invest their money yeah, in china you can't even buy a building 
Yeah, in China, you can't even build. Like, everything here is owned by Chinese. You can only be second to something. You can't be first to something. And in our countries, they are first to something. They have lands. They have properties. They have buildings. They have established lives. But as when we are here in China, baby, what is it that we have? Yes, it's the most high, it's the most high paying job here in China. But have you ever thought, sit down and think, where is your money going? If you want to transfer money back to your country, that's more than 10,000 as in, you need bank statements, even 5,000 RMB, 5,000 US dollars, baby, RMBs. You need as an official statement why you are sending your own had and worked money. I this is why I am saying you don't teach English here in China. The last thing is the mind. The mind. You know, some Chinese people really get turned off. Just by telling them that you can't speak Chinese. Many people have lost a job because of, I can't speak Chinese. You might be a good teacher, a badass teacher. But if you don't know the language, you're just good as me. Maybe I'm not a badass teacher, but who ha -ha. if you don't know the language, like, you get what I mean? And also, if you want to stay in China for long, being an english teacher be ready to learn the language honey be ready to learn the language because you need it everywhere me in the city that i'm staying in it's not even a first tier city where, where maybe you'll find people that can speak english here this city is full of old people and you can't be expecting to go in a supermarket and say can i please Chinese baby Chinese and also maybe even the young people that are here they're too shy to speak English especially the girls oh, hmm. so what I'm saying is these are the reasons why you shouldn't teach but if you feel like these reasons you can conquer them you can them welcome welcome to join the family being English teachers here but I feel like we go through so much and this is just the least of the things that i have to mention and if you're an english teacher and you have other things additives please comment down below so people can see this video is not to discourage anybody no this video is to just create awareness to know what you're getting yourself into you see to know yourself to know what you're getting yourself into and not then regret have somebody that tell you what you're going to face and also just like i said everybody's journey is different when you take something see how it applies in your life don't just rush to accept everything do your own research because i could be wrong for all i know i could be wrong you get what i mean and it's up to you like Whatever information that you get handed in, just don't take it word for word. Go do your own research. See what's out there. See what the world is offering you before you see what Ashley is offering you. You get what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm human. I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not perfect like Jesus. So, all I can do is try to be perfect. And he is the only one that can make me perfect. So, I'm just coming here with information. Take it leave it use it don't use it it's up to you at the end of the day i love you guys i'll come back with another video educating you and i'll see you guys this is the end of this video i'll see you guys in my next video and if you reach this end and not have subscribed please honey please subscribe and if you reach the end just write china in the comment section and i know that you've watched until the end i love you guys bye bye